Law enforcement have typically been outnumbered by men. The first female police officer appeared in the U.S. in 1910. And it wasn't until 1941 that the Bakersfield Police Department hired its first female officer. Then nearly 30 years later, Irma Carson became the first African-American woman to join the force. We sat down with Ms. Carson to take a look back at how she not only changed the face of local law enforcement, but local government as well. The year was 1969. At the time, only two women were part of the Bakersfield Police Force. They had two white police women, but none of them had ever worked the street. But me. Carson, one of 12 children, moved from her hometown of St. Louis to Bakersfield in 1953. They had segregation in Bakersfield when I came. I couldn't believe it. They had restaurants you couldn't eat here either. And the theaters were segregated. After working various jobs, she landed a position with the city of Bakersfield Finance Office. I got a call uh, when I was working in City Hall from the chief of police and asked me if I would like to be a, work for the police department. And so she did. She graduated in the top 10 at the academy and in 1969 became Bakersfield's first African-American female police officer. But it wasn't easy. The men not really wanting women in, in working in, in, in a police department, you know, and being police officer, they, they thought it was a man's world, of course. <laughs> Carson would prove them wrong eventually becoming BPD's first female homicide detective and sergeant, making her the first female in the department to leave the confines of the station and police the streets. When I became a sergeant, then working in the field, they had to work under my leadership, and they didn't particularly like that. In 1988, Carson filed a sex and race discrimination lawsuit against the city after she was passed up for a promotion to lieutenant. She settled the suit and after 19 years on the force, retired in 1989. We didn't have women on the streets. Now it's women everywhere, so it's great. And women are chiefs of police, you know, all over. Still, the number of women leading police departments pales in comparison to their male counterparts. According to hiring data gathered by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, women account for about 13% of active duty police officers. Of the 370 officers on the Bakersfield Police Force, 32 are female. You know, there were times that didn't always go my way, but I didn't give up. You can't give up. You just keep working and you keep your attitude good. It is that attitude that catapulted her into a career in local government. People asked me to run for the city council. The community wanted me to run for the city council. In 1994, Carson broke another barrier, becoming the first African-American woman to serve on the Bakersfield City Council. They, they knew me. Even though I was the police, they knew me. And they voted and voted for me. And they said, oh, that's that police woman. Yeah, we're going to vote for her. Now 82 years old, Carson's home is filled with well-deserved honors. Thanks from the community for bringing grocery stores, a fire station, spray parks, and affordable housing to an area of town that some would argue needed it the most. I went through some of the worst things in life, seen some of the worst things in life, but my living has not been in vain.